Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today I want to talk about abuse in psychiatric wards. This is part two, if you haven't seen part one I'll link it on the iCard up there to make sure you check that out. One of the biggest things that's abused is over medicating people. Um, this happened to me. I'll insert a quick clip of me recording video from then. Since I uploaded, longer than a month since I uploaded. And that's because a lot has been going on. So as you can tell, my speech was very slow and very slurred and very jumbled together. I didn't realise it at the time, I thought I was talking normally. When I heard it back, I thought, yeah, this is fine. It's only listening back now that I can see it. Now, I believe I was over-medicated because in the first few weeks of my admission, I was very difficult. I didn't comply with anything. I tried to refuse my meds. I tried to leave the ward. I actually got out the door to leave and restrain the ward back in. I was IM'd a lot. So why did they over-medicate people? If someone's over-medicated, they're a lot easier to control and deal with and cope with because they're unable to d think them to themselves. I remember at one point I'd been IM'd with haloperidol, lorazepam and promethazine. The first one was fair enough, I did try to take my own life. I would have understood physical restraint. I don't know why I got IM'd. IM's are used way too much in psych wars and in general hospital as well, if I can add that. Talking about being in a hospital and being IM'd, I was IM'd every single day that I was in a general hospital for something. I didn't even know what I did half the time. The nurse in charge there just didn't like me, I didn't like her. So, feelings mutual. Abuse in psychiatric wards does happen. I'm just one person that's been through it. I remember once I was admitted to a ward and this woman was trying to get my shoes off me. Even though they did not have shoelaces in them. I have these rubber connection things. I mean, let me show you. They connect like that. They look like shoelaces but they're not. And she smacks my head off the floor and it really fucking hurt. She then took my phone out of my hand. I was left without a phone, no shoes, on one to one for three days and I was discharged. The reason she took my phone off me is because she didn't want me to take a picture of what she'd done. If anything that I've said in these last two videos rings a bell for you or does something for you or you relate to it, I'm so sorry. Nobody should have to suffer abuse. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.